G'day Internet and welcome to a special episode of Morgan Makes. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name's Morgan and today we're doing an unboxing review of my new toys here. I've got a Anycubic Mono 4K and a Wash and Cure Station 2.0 to take a look at. Let's get to it. Alright, so I've got two boxes here. I'm going to assume that the printer is in the heavy one here on the left. Let's have a look. 22 minutes. We're only halfway through the content. Dude, no one's got time to watch you open a box for half an hour. Yep, time to give it a haircut. Speed run this. Okay, and here we are opening the first box. I'm just going to blow through this really quick. Here's an accessories kit right in the top. And it has gloves, tools, um, safety mask. USB stick, filters, a couple of sheets of FEP, the power supply, all the good stuff in there. A couple of scrapers, metal and plastic. The instructions, gonna need those in a minute. Take out the bag real quick. Um, you know what, this is starting to get a little bit boring. Have we got any music around here? Let me have a look. Well, we open this up. Have a look at that. Get that out, that's the well. Take all this foam off. Ah, here we are, found some. Alright, that's a little bit better. Something to listen to while we watch this. Okay. Alright. Now we've got all the parts out for the printer. We put that together. We're just going to peel. Put the power supply in. And look for the on button. This took me about two minutes to actually find. I should have actually looked at the on side. You know, there's no diagram about where to turn it on. So, there we are. Ah, on button. Fantastic. We're going to set the home level. Raise that up. And then we're going to do all the little home instructions. Peel that off. Peel that off. It's a good day for peeling. Loosen the screws with the Allen key supplied so we can level the plate. Just a couple more screws. There we are. They're in there fairly tight, but once they're free, they're free. They're out on there like that. This paper can be used for leveling. Well, at least it's labeled clearly. And that goes down there. Let's bed this up a bit. You gotta press down the plate with all your fingers just to make sure that it's all flat there and then tighten up the screws. Tighten, tighten, tighten. Reset to zero. Yes. And it all raise up like that. That was fairly straightforward. And now we get to the fun part where we... You know, now we go test the screen first. And then we get to the fun part. We get the printing. Tighten those down camera go back to focus. But first, before we do that, we'll open the second box and get the wash and cure station out. Open the box, remove the foam, get the foam out, get the bag out. Take the bag off. So much plastic in this thing. All this packaging. I know it's there to keep it secure during transit, but oh, I hope it's biodegradable somehow. Instructions. Tupperware tub full of stuff. It's like a little blender in there, it's pretty cool. And there's a, another accessories kit in the bottom there. It's got tools and a little stainless steel stand and the spinny bit. Yeah, spinny bit. And another bag of tools, fantastic. Alright, we're opening up the bucket here. Take out the foam. There's power supply. Yep. Check that that's in there. Yep, good old AU power supply. Fantastic. The shiny thing, I don't know what that was for yet, but it's for the reflective mat underneath the spinny bit. That thing. That goes under there. Alright. I don't know where this USB actually came from. I think it's from my old photon. But, yeah, it didn't work for me at all. I did end up trying the actual USB that came with the thing, and it worked uh, a lot better, but we'll, we'll get to that in due time. Go for the first print. Speed that footage up, it doesn't actually descend that fast. And yeah, it didn't work. Just a couple of little sticky bits in a plate. But then I had to clear out all the resin. This was a, a messy, messy learning curve. Messy, messy stuff, this. 
And today our Morgan makes a mess. We made such a mess. But over the week I've had these machines, I actually got a lot better at doing this stage of it and, you know, a lot less wastage and, you know, a lot less failed prints. After I got the hang of it, it was okay. I'm gonna add the resin back after we strained it. Whatever's left goes into the bin. Alright, let's try another print. This time I've got a... What's the purity seal? Oh yes, fantastic. That didn't work the first time either. It just broke off the supports and stuck to the bottom of the well. But at least it was all in a single solid piece so it was easy to scrape out and it didn't have to filter the resin again. But this time we're actually using the supplied USB that came with it and it worked. So we'll fill up the bucket with alcohol at the moment and try not to spill as much as we can. Success. There we go. Look at that. I'm going to gently scrape it off the bill plate here. Try not to scratch the bill plate surface with the metal scraper too much. And gently put it into the basket. Put the basket into the alcohol. Put the lid on, turn the machine on, and set a timer and just have it blend. So we'll sit there rinsing off for several minutes. And that was the result of the washed and cleaned piece. I shouldn't have taken off the supports at this stage. I should have cured it on the supports. It left little pits in the back of the model that you'll see later. But, you know, that's all part of the learning process. So the shiny bit goes there. The spinny bit goes there. The model goes there. lid goes on and you press play and spinny bit spins and spins for about four minutes that's all this model really needed and there we have it a fully cured model still a little bit wet with the alcohol but it painted up pretty good I was really happy with the results there you can see the little pits on the back Red kind of exposed them a bit more than I'd like, but you don't see that side of it anyway, it's okay. I'll put it where it can do the most good. It needs a little bit of purity, I think. Okay, and here we have some more failed miniatures that I tried to print. They just all end up, yeah, failing halfway through. I've got some weird pieces, I might be able to salvage some of them. But yeah, Ooh, lost a leg. That's what you get for playing around with chainsaws. But a lot of them ended up like this, where they got really weird horizontal slices through them. Where, yeah, the... Didn't cure all the way through on a single layer, I guess? I don't know what's going on there precisely. I guess I'll figure it out eventually. But yeah. He's got a really bad case of missing shoulder there. However, the printer, when it does work, works really well. I was very happy with the amount of detail that these models had. Although, this one did finish printing, but it still failed a little bit, where the guns didn't print out fully. I can fix that, though. Yes, yeah, very happy with the amount of detail that a 4K printer can produce. And tried doing some larger pieces, and that's a whole other kettle of fish and a a learning curve as steep as running into a brick wall. Overall, I'm happy with the performance of the printer. It was pretty messy and, you know, we had some failures early on, but the more I play around with it, the better I seem to be getting at this. So, I guess practice makes perfect. Speaking of practice, I had a lot of fun making this video. I really enjoyed learning new things on how to do video editing. If you like the music, let me know in the comments below. If you thought it was a bit too much, you know, just shout out, let me know. So what is my final opinion on the Anycubic Mono 4K? Well, it's a beast of a machine. It's got a lot of potential under the hood there. I know, I'm really excited for future projects that I could be doing with it. It wasn't overly expensive either. However, 
it is messy and it does stink. Those chemicals are kind of toxic. So, you know, if you have a mate who's got one, maybe that might be good enough. Otherwise, I probably recommend checking it out if you're curious. Anyway, that's enough out of me. I'm Morgan. This has been Morgan Makes. I hope you have a great day. Like and subscribe and take it easy. I don't have any more pizza. You ate it all.